Okay. I complain about Viking fans a lot these days because I just think we've lost our collective mind as a fan base, and I really, you know, so many times over the last, you know, eight, nine months, I've just been befuddled at how stupid so much of this fan base is, but, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll fully admit I've spent too much time this afternoon and this evening looking at online comments about, you know, from Vikings fans about free agency to this point. Today was the first, like, big day. But it's not even, like, officially free agency yet. It's, like, the but, like the tampering period um, is open, so, like, you can sign guys. This, this fan base is losing their fucking mind. I, they're acting like the, the whole offseason is over. Like, the, the, that it lasts one day, and if you don't make, you know, all your moves then, including your draft picks, apparently, that it, that's all over. Like, they're, like, the roster we have right now, that's what we're going into, into week one with. These people are fucking nuts. I... Like, they're enraged. They are just absolutely enraged. And I know that, like, in a lot of cases, these people already want Zimmer gone. They want Spielman gone. They fucking hate Kirk. They believe the stupid BS narrative that he's ruined our cap and ruined our franchise and that nobody wants to play with him and yada, yada, yada. But, like, yeah, there's been, there have been some big signings today, some, you know, a lot of money getting thrown around by the teams that actually have the big money to throw around. Like, the Vikings have cleared some cap space, but, and frankly, they've, I think they've done an even better job of clearing cap space than I really expected them to. I thought we were going to really be up against it. But no, they've, they've done some... Um, well, okay, the, the stuff they have done today, um, um, the only guy they signed was re-signing Rashad Hill. Um you know, who been around here a while. He's been, you know, backup. He's been occasionally a starter. Um, he's not meant to be the starter. I saw people like, oh my god, we're gonna just bring the same line back. No, they they re-signed Rashad Hill because he's he can play multiple positions on the offensive line. He's like he's a backup and he's he's a pretty good backup. Um, you know, if a guy gets hurt, maybe you can, maybe you can plug him in as a starter for a while. He's not he's not here to be a fucking starting left tackle. But, of course, the stupid fucking idiot Vikings fans think that he is because, I don't know, they just want to be mad. <sighs> but, uh, so that's the only that's the only signing they made today. Um, they didn't sign any outside free agents yet, um, um, along with all the Daniel Hunter drama going on. Um, um, apparently they are working on uh, restructures of some sort with... Um, Harrison Smith and Adam Thielen, which I think both were, especially Smith was definitely talked about as being something that's going to happen. You know, this this could almost be like you know the the final Smith deal, like that this this can kind of ensure he'll play his whole career here. Um, so, you know, a quiet first day. That's okay. Like I don't. I don't get it. For fucking week, I mean, not even just weeks, like ever since it was known that the salary cap was going to drop, I thought people in this fan base and the media too understood that this was not going to be a year where the Vikings were going to be big players of free agency. In some years they have been, but this was not going to be one of those years. Everyone knew they were going to have to slash cap, which they have with, you know, Rudolph gone and Reef gone and, you know, they restructured Barr and um, Bailey gone and a couple other guys. Like, like that was that was a known thing. And now people are acting fucking surprised that they're not going out there and giving, you know, Joe Thune $15 million a year. Well, of course they're not giving him $15 million a year. They don't have, they don't have that money to spend. I don't know what the exact total is they have at the moment. I think I think it's in the, I think it's over ten million now with the with the bar with the bar move. Um, they didn't give Hill much money. I they gave him it was a pretty small contract. So, like, they were not you know like the, you know the the guys who go, 
in the beginning of free agency are always like the top tier guys because that's just usually how it works so like you know you know, Thune signed, you know, there's, there's been some other signings. Um, Yannick Ngakwe went to the, uh, went to the Raiders, so, you know, you can, you can say that, uh, you know, Rick screwed up by, by giving up, uh, giving up the draft pick for Ngakwe, well, the Ravens maybe screwed up by giving away a third round pick for a rental, so, but, um, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, they were never, they were never going to be doing these huge, huge signings. Like, they're clearing, they, like, the cap space they've cleared, and if they're, if they're working on a couple of their restructurings, um, you know, and there have been some guys who, who, who I've seen mentioned now that they're, they're in the mix for. There's the uh, Hendrickson, the guy from the Saints, defensive end, um, um, Shaq Griffin, cornerback. Uh, I've seen them linked to a couple other guys. You know, they're not clearing the cap space that they've cleared just to sign draft picks, or you know, and sign a couple, couple Rashad Hill type players. Like they're gonna sign somebody, but for some reason, this stupid fucking fan base thinks if you don't sign the guy on the first day, that you're never gonna sign anybody, and then you're just you're just not trying. It's like, oh my God, Joe Thune signed. You know, oh my God, the, the center from uh, the Packers signed. Oh my God, the, the Ziegler guy signed. Like, you don't even, you fucking idiots. You don't even know who these players are. You just see the names and the position. You're like, oh my God, he's a he's a free agent. He's got to be good. We have to sign him. You don't know who the fuck any of these guys are. N- none of these none of these fucking idiot fans know who any of these players are. Maybe Thune, just because he's a little more well known, but. Like you don't know who any of these players are. It's the same shit that you get with the mock drafts. Like, and then, the, and then when we don't draft, you know, player X, who these fans have decided we have to draft, then it's a failure on the front office that they didn't get him. No, it's not. You don't know shit. I'm still. I'm tired of fucking Vikings fans who don't know shit about anything. Just deciding to be miserable pricks all the time. Like we can get it. You want the Vikings to be bad. You just want you want them to be bad. You want to be angry all the time. For reasons that fucking escape me. Like I just don't get it. Like, like you're, you're not you're not forced to follow the Vikings. This is, this is you're not being held at gunpoint and forced to follow the Vikings and watch the Vikings. And root for the Vikings. But it's this, it's the same fucking people who you know, one drive into a football game, into a week one football game, are calling for everybody to be fired on the team. It's the same people. It's the same just fucking, just fucking idiot mentality that I don't I don't understand. And I know there's idiots in, in many many fan bases. But I really, I used to think the Vikings fans were not, were not, you know, idiots like this. Like, we, the, the Vikings fans are fucking idiots. I fucking hate Vikings fans. I've, I've grown over the last year to just fucking hate Vikings fans. And this is just another thing. Like, these people are fucking idiots. <laughs> They're just whiny babies. Like, I'm sorry they didn't sign five top tier free agents on day one where you could sign guys they were never going to do that they don't have the money to do that you know, they're going to sign they're going to sign players because they're not they're not clear in the cap space they've cleared they're not working on a couple more extensions they're not doing that just to have the money sitting there like they're they're going to use it they're going to be they're going to whether it's whether now whether they do sign a, another pass rusher, whether it's this cornerback, whether they sign you know one guard, a tackle, two guards, whatever, whatever it is they do, they're they're going to be doing something because they're not clearing this cap space just for the just for the hell of it. But it's 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 blatantly obvious that you know whatever name pops up 
over the over the coming days that the Vikings have signed, it's not going to be the right guy for for these for these fans. They're not going to they're not going to be happy with anything because they they are incapable of ever being anything other than miserable pieces of shit who want to drag the rest of us who the rest of us Vikings fans who you know try to approach things with you know something of a, a calm mentality and a you know the world is not ending mentality and they want to drag us all down to their level of just of just manic chicken little the sky is falling bullshit like I get it you fucking hate Rick Spielman you hate Mike Zimmer you hate Kirk Cousins you hate Ziggy Wilf you hate everybody connected to this fucking franchise you, and yet you apparently consider yourself to be a fan of, the, of this franchise why why what is, what is the point? Like, if you thought they were going to be, you know, coming in here today, you know, start a free agency, and they were going to be signing, you know, five top-tier free agents to, you know, you know, $50, 60000000 million contracts, that's on you. That's on you being a fucking idiot who can't follow, like, simple math. Like, we have some cap space. You know, we're going to be able to make some moves, maybe multiple moves of, of a decent size. You know, and depending on what and depending on what we get with a couple of these other restructurings that might happen, this, this fan base is really going to lose their shit. Or, or not, not going to lose their shit, but they're going to... They're, they're going to be... They're not going to know what to say when Kirk restructures a little bit here after that he's he tell you it's going to be after it's going to be after the like the 19th is when that uh, 2022 thing kicks in after that he's going to do a restructuring to help us out with the cap and i've seen so many fucking comments <laughs> lately about and heard so much about how kirk is the only guy in the league who won't do it he won't help any he won't do anything to help the team yeah well when it does happen i guarantee these people aren't going to fucking admit they were wrong just like they won't admit they they were wrong when you know over the coming days the Vikings do sign a couple guys, and I don't know who they I don't know the names that they're gonna sign because for the most part they're just names. I don't know these guys. I don't know these players. You know I don't I, you know and and none of these fucking chicken little fans know who these guys are. They wouldn't they wouldn't recognize uh, Joe Thune if he walked into the room wearing a name tag that says Hi, my name is Joe Thune. They don't know who these guys are. They're just they just see a name, and they see a position, and they think that that's who they have to sign, and that he's great. And look, don't get me wrong, he'd be an upgrade over what we've had at guard. Don't get me wrong. They need they do need to make they do do need to make some moves, um, and they do need to make some offensive line moves. But that's going to be both free agency and the draft. You know, I've been saying for weeks. I th- I'm expecting them to make you know if they're going to make one significant signing, I would probably say guard but now this hunter thing's come up again so I don't know maybe they're going to hedge their bets a little bit on that situation maybe they are going to you know maybe their big move is going to be to sign a, a pass rusher uh, maybe this guy from the Saints um, but you know, again whoever whatever, whoever they sign it's going to be wrong according to these fans because everything is wrong because they know best Sitting, sitting in their basements, you know, what reading uh, Pro Football Focus <laughs> or whatever, and they're like, "Oh, this is this guy's great, and we have to sign him, and we, I know exactly how we can sign him." These are the same people, of course, who think we should just like release Kirk Cousins today and take the cap hit. But I, I tried to, I tried, I fucking try with these people, man. You try to engage with them, and they're just little lunatics. They're just, they're just not operating with a full deck. I don't know what these, I don't know what these people do in their lot in their daily lives, but there's no way they enjoy following the Vikings. There's no way they do. And this isn't to say that, you know, any move that the 
that the Vikings make here in free agency or in the draft, you know, is going to be right. They might right. They, they may have a Timberwolves off season where they do everything wrong. But you know, you're being an asshole if you don't give them more than one day to make whatever moves they're going to make. Because guess what? Free agency ain't fucking over. They don't call it free agency day. You know, I, I just, I don't get it. I just don't understand these people. I think that's the thing with Vikings, I mean, Vikings fans lately. I just don't understand. Like, I don't feel like I live on the same planet as some of these people. <laughs> you know, like, I want, the, I want the Vikings to win a Super more than any of these fucking people who are whining whining about what we're not doing in free agency. But I know that going online and just fucking whining constantly about every little thing. You know, like... It's like, if there's no salary cap, sure, go, go sign whoever you want. I mean, <laughs> we knew they didn't have the cap space coming into this free agency period to make a whole bunch of big signings. And they still don't, even after doing a pretty good job of clearing cap space. You know, like, they're, they're going to be good to, you know, especially with a couple more restructures. They're going to be able to make a couple of moves. But they're not going to make ten big moves. You know, they're not, like, what, God, what are the... Patriots do today? They signed. They, they, I guess they dished out like something like 150 million dollars in contracts today to like just like four or five guys. That wasn't going to be us. That was not going to happen this year. And I, I thought we understood that. Simple math. They didn't have. They don't have the money. You want to bitch about why they don't have the money and say, "Oh, Kirk Cousins killed the cap." Whatever. Like that's a whole other thing you're wrong about. But whatever. But the fact is, they don't have they don't have the cap space to make, you know, to do what the Patriots did. They just don't, and that's just how it is. You know, they've done they've cleared some cap space. They're gonna clear some more. They're gonna make a couple moves. I don't know for sure what the positions, and I don't know for sure what the players, and I don't know for sure that they'll be the right moves. They might maybe they'll sign the. The guy from the Saints, the pass rusher, and he'll be a bust. Maybe they'll sign, you know, whoever the best remaining guard is, and he'll be a bust. I don't know. <laughs> like, you know, I, I don't pretend to be smarter than, than, you know, a professional GM who's been a pretty damn good GM, you know. For, for a decade, and I know we haven't won a fucking Super Bowl. That's not the bar to determine if someone's good at their job or not. But most of his moves have been pretty solid. Free agency and draft. And yeah, he's had some busts on both. But everybody does. You know, there haven't been there haven't been too many, though, as as far as like significant free agent signings that that spiel that. Spielman has made in his in his time here that have been like noticeably bad. I mean, there's there's a few like you know his his thing has been more like maybe making like, you know giving out extensions maybe that he shouldn't have have given out like you know Blair Walsh as an example or you know some might say Anthony Barr, but uh, you know. Like, yeah, we were going to be bargain hunters this year. Like, you know, we don't have the cap space to, to, you know, I mean, I suppose we could literally give up every dollar of cap space we have to make one signing, but I don't know. Like, I'd rather, I'd always rather make, if you can, make, you know, three or four signings than, than go all in on one signing. You know, I guess, I guess if the one signing is a real difference maker, but I don't know, is Joe Thune that level of difference maker? I mean, you know, I don't know. Maybe he is. Maybe maybe not signing Thune is the worst move the his, in the history of the Vikings. I don't know. But <laughs> there's a lot of guys out there. 
you know, there have been a lot of guys who have signed today, but there's still a lot of guys out there. And remember, we got a lot, we got nowhere to go but up as far as our guard play. You know, it's not like we have to sign, you know, Randall McDaniel to have an upgraded guard. You know, and again, I don't know these guys, and most of these fucking fans don't know these guys other than by just a name that they see on a on a on a sheet. You know, they don't scout them. None of these none of these idiots, none of these armchair GMs scout anybody. They don't know what they're talking about. It's fucking irritating as hell. Because these 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 fucking people they don't listen to reason. They're they're incapable of reason. And this is I mean it's it's only gonna get worse probably. God forbid we go another day without signing somebody. Um But I mean, again, this was not going to be an off season, particularly free agency, where we made a bunch of big moves. It just wasn't like you know, if it was a normal off season and we were going to have a little bit of cap, a little bit more cap room, maybe we were going to do something. I don't know. But I mean, they've you know, they're not they're not clear they're not clear in the cap space. They've already cleared if they're not going to do something. Now maybe that's just a couple of bargain signings. That's fine. Depending on who this, on what positions, who what the player is, who knows? I don't know. I like. I'm always going to give him the benefit of the doubt because Spielman has generally been pretty solid with the moves he's made. But these fucking crazy fans, they just want they just want blood. They want blood every fucking day. All they want to do is fire everybody all the time. I guarantee if they I guarantee whoever they sign, you know, for whatever position, for whatever money, these same fans are gonna get mad at that signing because they're gonna say it's the wrong guy. We should have signed this guy instead, or we should have done this and this. They don't know a fucking thing. And that's there's nothing more irritating. <laughs> Maybe in the whole world, but certainly in, you know, when you're part of like sports fan is just having to hear people who don't know shit act like they know shit it's really fucking irritating this is fans and media but my eye my ire is particularly up because of a lot of these idiot fans i've been dealing with today and seeing just seeing comments and like just just the insanity of these people We'll see what happens with Hunter, you know. We'll see what happens with uh, any other restructurings. We'll see what happens with Cousins. I, if I, I'm laying. I, if I had some money to lay down, I would. Uh, I would lay down some money that Kirk is going to do something after the 19th to help us with the cap space. But. It ain't gonna matter. Same fucking fans are gonna be mad. Be, we we could we could we could trade for Deshaun Watson or Russell Wilson, <laughs> and these same fans would be mad. We could we could do anything right now and they'd be mad because that just this is just who they are. This is just what this fan base has become. I mean, I know we've had our issues, <laughs> to say the least, with you know losing big games and you know we don't have a Super Bowl and all this stuff, but just. You know, I don't. I don't know if I want to call the Vikings the lovable losers, like something like that, like the team that doesn't doesn't win. But this is not a lovable fan base. We are a shitty fan base. This is just a dumb, dumb fan base, and it real. It just. It's just getting worse. I don't. I don't know what's going on. Like, I think. I think. Like, I mean, it's not just Kirk Cousins derangement syndrome. That's a part of it, but. You know, Rick Spielman derangement syndrome, I guess. Like, these people just want blood all the time. They, everything that is done or not done is wrong, and they and they will get mad at everything. I mean, this is a fan base that gets mad when they win games. Even when they win games, they get mad. Remember? Remember, with the, remember the tank Nazis where they're mad, they're mad that we didn't uh, finish 2-14 and 14 last year or something? I'm just... Oh, God, this, these people... 
<sighs> I, just, I can't even tolerate these people. I keep wanting this fan base to be better, and we're just getting worse. It's just going the other way. They're just getting dumber and more reactionary and more angry and more stupid, and it just, it's not, it's never going the other way, is it? Guess we just go fight, you know, fight through it and. I mean, we're gonna be fine. I know, like the hunter thing is kind of a separate issue right now. That that could that could you know, that could buzz kill a lot of stuff, but you know. Like we have a pretty good front office. No one wants to hear that shit, but we have a pretty good front office. We have a good coach. We have a good quarterback. And we have a lot of talent on this roster. And we're gonna add some more. We're gonna add we're gonna add some pieces here in free agency. We, they may not be the ones who get paid fifteen million a year. But we're gonna add some pieces and then we're gonna nail the fucking draft. And then we're gonna have a real season we're gonna have real fans like we're gonna act i mean you know certainly by september we're gonna be able to have a full stadium we're gonna actually have a home field advantage again like there's so many reasons punter hunter aside to be very optimistic and positive about the vikings going into next year but you sure wouldn't know it by listening to this fan base and listening to the media that covers it or covers the team because it's always Chicken Little. It's always the sky is falling. I don't. I don't understand it. Like, like, why do you do it? Why do you put yourself through it if this is how it makes you feel? If everything makes you mad and miserable, like, <laughs> all that makes me mad and miserable is watching the fucking fan base and listening to the media that covers this team. Just be chicken little and dumb and ignorant and try to tell us things that are false like you know the whole Kirk is killing our cap narrative but yeah so well so that does it for day one of free agency it's gotta be better in the future I just you know we'll see what we we'll see what the signings are I think I think they'll, they'll certainly within the next couple days um They'll, they'll sign a couple guys, a couple outside free agents, and, you know, some will choose to give them the benefit of the doubt that these are good signings, and a whole lot of reactionary people will choose to tell us that the sky is falling, and that everyone should be fired, and we're going to go 0-17, 0-17, because we're going to have an extra game next year. 